If you need instruction on pump calibration for this method, please view our Pump Calibration with Two Filter Cassettes in Series video. To begin sampling, be sure the pumps have been fully charged within the last 48 hours. Remove the nibs from both sides of the back treated filter cassette that is white banded and labeled sulfur dioxide. Attach the pump tubing to the wagon wheel pattern side of the filter cassette. Install the short piece of tubing with two lure adapters to the inlet side of the back filter cassette. Remove the colored nib from the wagon wheel side of the front filter cassette that is black banded and labeled particulate sulfate. Install this wagon wheel side of the front filter cassette to the short tubing with lure adapter. This will create the two filter in series sampling train needed for this method. Make sure the wagon wheel side of both filter cassettes are facing the pump. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in the back or on the side. Bring the tubing around front and attach the sample to the shirt collar in the breathing zone. Use the collar clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Remove the nib from the inlet side of the front filter cassette. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump on the field data sheet. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is completed, turn off the pump, remove both filter cassettes and reinstall nibs on both ends of both filter cassettes. Remove the equipment and return to the area where you performed the pre-calibration to perform post-calibration and prepare your sample for shipment. Perform the post-calibration following the same process used for pre-calibration. To prepare your sample for shipment, first consider what analysis you will be requesting. The front cassette filter only needs to be analyzed if there was sulfuric acid, sulfate salts, or sulfite salts present during the sampling and you would like to have those analytes quantified. If none of these potential contaminants were present, or if you do not want to have them quantified, the front filter can be discarded. The back cassette filter is treated and will be analyzed for sulfur dioxide. Make sure the nibs on both ends are replaced tightly and the sample is labeled. Be sure that both the front and back filter cassettes are labeled with the same sample ID if you are submitting both for analysis. Place the samples in the Ziploc bag for shipment back to the laboratory. Then complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. 1-800-227-5278